the theme of wellness and health in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, the bad boys get into a lot of action and there's a lot of physical strength proven, but this movie kind of introduces a lot of conversations about mental health and overall well-being. Yeah. Well mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, what do you hope this film and your characters add to the conversation of mental health and awareness, health and especially among black men? You know, what was really uh, beautiful and fun for me is like, it's a bad boys movie, mm -hmm. it's a popcorn movie, it's fun, it's exciting, you laugh, you cheer, but really at the core of it, you know, you're laughing, but it's some, re it's some powerful concepts in there, you know, with what Marcus's character is trying to introduce Mike to, you know, and the idea of my, oh, I don't want to do no, do no spoilers, but the idea, <laughs> like, you know, what Mike is struggling with and how he makes his way out of that, you know, I just love being able to touch on those kind of concepts and ideas, you know, the mental health and then connected to the mm -hmm. spirituality all in a way that's like fun. So, you know, he's not getting hit over the head with it. But to me, it's I love being able to do that in a in a summer blockbuster. And I love playing the spiritual side and everything because in my real life, I'm the true believer of God. And you know, I'm, I'm I'm a believer. He's the reason I'm here, and he he's the reason I have the gift that I have that we have. And uh, so I'm all for it. You know, uh, all of this. Uh, 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 pointing in the right direction mm -hmm. and giving good advice, yeah. I'm all for it. And right, and like you said, I appreciate the way that a lot of these kind of heavier things were kind of incorporated in this laugh out loud funny yeah. stuff, because I was cracking up in there, and I, I just want to know what was some of your most fun or funniest moments on set or even making this entire film? We had the cookout scene. <laughs> the funny. cookout, yeah, yeah. It was funny to me because we made that up. Yeah. We, we made that up on the, the spot. day or yeah on like the we spot. were there and it was starting to rain mm -hmm. right so in florida what happens is when when lightning strikes mm -hmm. and you're shooting outside you shut down the set is shut down for 30 minutes yeah so we kept having lightning strikes so we couldn't shoot and literally what's in the movie is like one of a, probably about four takes that we actually <laughs> yeah. were able to do. So it was a really rushed scene. So that that was a that was a fun day. That was the last day. Yeah, that was the final the day of day. shooting. So when you can shoot the last scene on the last day, it has a quality of <laughs> you know parting ways that's beautiful. Awesome. And then the last question I have for you guys today is kind of about both your on-screen and off-screen relationship. Um, like you said, this has been nearly 30 years since the first Bad Boys, and still in the fourth installment of the series, you guys are still fresh on your toes. The chemistry, the comedic timing is all there. Um, how do you guys foster that kind of relationship between each other? Respect, you love, you know. Um, this dude, for 30 years, I've learned a lot, of, a lot from him. You know, um, when I was young on the first Bad Boys, you know, um, I don't think I dealt with people, you know, and in, in, I dealt with people in a certain way. I was maybe standoffish or whatever. You and know, I remember he, he was a good mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was a good mean. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> but when I remember him telling me one day, so man, you, you, so said, mean. you said, no, you said your people skills is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me that. This was on the first bad boy. And so, I, and this, this resonated with me. All throughout the bad boys we did, I said, mm -hmm. "Oh, I gotta work on my people skill," <laughs> you know. But that's what he told me. <laughs> he's, he's a snicker. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but but I'm I'm so glad that I've grown in that way, and uh, he's he's helped me in that way. No, Mari Ma is like the smoothest. Uh, sweetest, easiest. He's like just mellowed, and he kept. He was stopping me on set. The, this whole movie he was like, "Hey, just slow down. We're here. We're not gonna rush through this like we did the other ones. We're gonna enjoy this time." And you know, and it was such a beautiful thing. He just like over and over, literally fifteen times on this movie. He was like. <laughs> you know, and it's like just take it down and let's like let's make sure we enjoy this time and it was beautiful. Awesome, awesome. I can get one more in. If you mm -hmm. both could describe Bad Boys 
four in three words, what would they be? Three words. In three words. In three. One is, one is I, I would say, spectabulous. It's spectabulous. My, my one one say awesome. Awesome. So spectabulous. Awesome. awesome. It's uh it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Is it three words? That's three. Right That's there. three. But two of them was mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, you, can, uh, you can use my words. Yeah, use my words. So, so I would say uh, it's a great film. It's a great film. Great film. It's a great film. That's uh, four. That's that's, that's four oh. words. That's four. <laughs> All right, and uh, it's uh, and you should see it because it is it's it is really deeply enjoyable. It's like what summer movies are supposed to be, and 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 we're in, in such a tough time. Now. Yeah, yeah, living in such a tough time. Uh, world world needs this entertainment. Yeah. They need to laugh and, yeah. and have good entertainment out there. Yes. and this is exactly what this is going to give them. Yeah, for sure.